best able to take advantage of that without losing it. Because, you know, Pat Buchanan, even Perot in 92, tapping into that, in the end, the party suffered by those efforts Probab and didn't probably, win Chris probably Christie. Christie has a, a real appeal to uh, the blue collar worker. Mm -hmm. Uh, plus, um, maybe more traditional in terms of being a, a conservative. Yeah. Um, you okay. know, I think Bush has the best qualifications if you just look at, look at qualifications for president. But if we're talking about political appeal, then I think Trump and Christie probably have the best ability to get the crossover Reagan, so called Reagan Democrat. Mm -hmm. Do you think and Jeb, can, Jeb and, bringing out, oh, go ahead, sorry. And, and can put states like Pennsylvania. Uh, New Jersey, New York in, 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 uh, in play. Do you think Jeb Bush bring out his mother helped? Yeah, it always helps. Barbara is just uh, really very well loved. Uh, the fact that Donald made fun of the fact that he brought out his mother. Well, if you got to bring out a mother, that's the mother to bring out. Yeah. Right? I, want to, I, I want Barbara to go after Trump. That's what I would have that, said. She did a little in one of the interviews. Uh, she, she's a tough lady and yeah. she's smart. And uh, it's, you know, it's not like somebody who has not been involved in politics. She's been involved in politics. I thought it was very good that he did. And, uh, and it got him attention. Look, what Donald has shown is <laughs> you've got to get attention. Yeah. And, he's getting it, right. <laughs> and maybe yeah. Christie will get help. Yeah. Christie uh, got attention uh, because he was the one that uh, took the shot at Rubio. Yeah. And maybe this will help Chris off. Real quick on Hillary and, and, and Bernie. Uh, what's your take? I mean, you know they're incredibly worried. My about take the is that vote. the Democratic Party is becoming a socialist party. And if you, if you listen to them, you know, they say things, ridiculous things like 90% tax. Yeah. You're going to give 90 To me, I always had a kind of rule of thumb. Uh, the government should not be the senior partner in my earnings. I should right, be. Right, <laughs> the, government, I mean, the, government, the government should take money. They're entitled to it. I was a mayor. I taxed. I tried to lower it. But, you know, I should be able to keep more than 50% of what I earn. But there's also not, no, not, no, not thought, the no thought process whatsoever on what that would do to small business. I mean, if exactly. small business is giving 92% of their earnings to government, what do you think they're going to do with the other 8%? Well, that's why, well. Get higher jobs? that's why I object fiercely to the term progressive for de Blasio and Sanders. This isn't progressive. This is a philosophy of 150 years ago, started by Karl Marx, that has failed every time it's been tried which is to redistribute wealth and try to engineer the economy. This is an old, old, tired idea mm -hmm. that has failed every time it has been tried. And why does America have the strongest economy on earth, even if we have our problems? Because we're the one that's resisted it the most. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Rudy Giuliani. <laughs>